guys, today I wanted to do a video talking about my skincare products that I've been using lately because I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand with the foundation video that I posted. Foundation routine, skincare routine. I think those kind of go together. Yeah? No? I don't know. To me it does. Uh, so because I have talked about my skincare in the past and really a lot of products are the same, I kind of wanted to breeze through like certain things because I'm, I'm going to show you what I use, but I really want to fit focus on some masks and things like that, which I used to really never think masks made that big of a deal, but I found a couple of products that are really, really great and have actually made a big difference, and um, things that I can, you know, noticeable differences. So I'm going to show you a couple of those, and some of them you may have seen me talk about before, I'm usually not that into masks. With skincare, you got to understand, it's hard to, to start something new, because I know in the past I've changed things up, and I've used different products, and I always go back to my original stuff because I just find that things never work as good and that's okay because you've got to kind of know your skin and know what works for you. Um, that being said with skincare you definitely can't use something for a couple days or a week and then do a review on it. Maybe not even a couple of weeks. Honestly it takes for me at least like a month or several weeks to see the differences in something and sometimes people say you know it gets bad before it gets better. I don't know if I necessarily think that but um but definitely it takes weeks for even bad things to happen too. So you definitely need to kind of work in products slowly. I would never just totally change everything because then you'd never know if it was just one product that was breaking you out or something that you could change. Um, so it takes me a very long time to kind of get back to what I'm using and to change because I know that I talked about some drugstore products in the past that I, that I liked that didn't really work out as good as these products. Um, but basically I use the Proactive. I'm not sent this stuff. I've bought it myself for over well, about 10 years, 10 years now, it's crazy. Um, I use the first, second, and third step, twice a day the cleanser, twice a day the toner, um, which has glycolic acid in it, no alcohol, which I think is a big deal, the glycolic acid, because it kind of exfoliates, um, and, and it kind of fades, I think, discoloration. And then the repairing treatment, this is like a mega big one that I bought at the mall the other day because I was out of all my regular size ones, and they had these very large ones. Um, so I got this one. And this is just basically a benzoyl peroxide treatment, which benzoyl peroxide works the best for me. My skin's always done great with it as an acne treatment, so I feel like it really keeps my pores clean. And like, um, I do break out from like hormones and things like that. I do have kind of oily skin, um, but I never have breakouts just from like blackheads or like from dirt and stuff like that, because this really keeps your pores mega mega clean. Okay. Moisturizer in the morning, I use the Vitazing SPF 15 after I've done all those three steps. This really isn't like a moisturizer, it's just like a serum type thing. Um, I use my Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Then at night, I use the three steps that I showed. And then I will, I've will. i been using the Green Tea Moisturizer, which they always have these little samples. I can't tell you how many of these I have in my little thing under my cabinet that I keep extra skincare stuff in. Because they always come free with the kits that you buy. And um, for a long time I just never used them and I was using other things, but I went back to this and um, I really like it. I think the Bliss uh, Oxygen C cream uh, broke me out just a little bit. Uh, for makeup remover at night, I do use the Bosch and Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil or I use the Neutrogena Wipes. Mostly I've been using this. I've gone through a bunch of these lately and I really like it. Alright, so talking about masks, um, the Proactive refining mask is great. It is amazing. I probably should have bought a little tube in here. Just a little white tube like this. Use your imagination. Um, it stinks so bad and I can't take it. The main ingredient is sulfur. It is very drying but if you are having major breakouts it will dry them up quickly. Um, not overnight or anything like the commercial says. Let's be honest. But it does do a great job of keeping larger breakouts at bay. Um, the main ingredient, as I said, is sulfur. It stinks, it's awful, and it smells bad. This mask is a long-time favorite of mine. Probably the very first mask I ever used, like when I was little and just playing around. Because um, I would get it at the drugstore. And it's the Queen Helena, or Helene, Mint Julep Mask. And it's cool. It has sulfur in it. It smells great. If you like mint, you'll like this. If you don't like mint, you're not going to. Um, but it just feels so good on your skin. It really is like tingly and um, it's nice. It says it helps dry up acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink enlarged pores. I've never really found something 
that rinses away blackheads, although that is sounds like a dreamy product if I ever heard one. But um, but yeah, this doesn't really do that, but it really does help with like pore size to me. Um, it really, and, and this is not just after one use, like, wow, I look perfect. Use it like once every three or four days. Um, and that may sound like a lot for some people, but I really like it, and it's a fun little treat. And I always leave on masks longer than I'm supposed to. I'm pretty bad about that. So you're supposed to let it dry for 15 minutes. I always just forget, and I just leave them on for like 30 minutes, which isn't good, because you might, your skin might peel off, so be careful. Um, yeah, especially if you have dry skin, so watch out. But this is really great, and I love it. To me, it has the same drying effect of breakouts and keeping your skin feel clear and, like, less oily. So I really, this is amazing, and it's cheap. Like I said, you can get it at the drugstore. Now, once a week, not on the same day. I would never use these masks on the same day. Um, but, like, once a week, I've been using this. And I've talked about this in a video. It's the Bliss Deep Clean. Professional Strength Facial Mask for All Skin Types dissolves dead skin cells and debris, exfoliates and smooths on the surface, prevents plugged and prominent pores, includes botanical skin brightener. Uh, it's really good. This is cool. This is really good. Um, it really kind of, like, if you've got some dull skin or, like, even if you've had some breakouts or if you are dealing with breakouts and your skin looks kind of bumpity, bumpy, bumpity, uh, you can use this and leave it on for 15 minutes. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It smells amazing, like I've said before. Um, it's a dual little action thing, so you pump out two colors of the same amount. Mix it together, put it on, leave it on for 15 minutes. I leave it on for like 20 minutes, which I don't want to say that because you should leave it on 15 minutes just to see how your skin is going to react. And then I use a damp washcloth and wipe it off. And the second that washcloth touches your face, it feels a little tingly. Like you can tell it has done something and it really, I think, dissolves the top layer of your skin and really kind of makes my skin look brighter, especially my cheeks. It makes everything look more even. Like, I know everybody says, oh, your skin looks perfect, which my skin does look really pretty darn good on camera. But, I mean, in person, you know, nobody really understands what your skin looks like. You know, you've got all these lights, and it really kind of washes you out. Even in my foundation video the other day when I wasn't wearing any makeup, I was shocked because my skin does not look like that when I'm not wearing makeup. It's just the lights, and it's everything that goes into, like, you know, making me show up on camera and stuff. Um... But yeah, you know, like, I do deal with issues just like everybody else, and, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but this works good. Uh, so yeah, once a week I use that. Um, they're, they're, that's fairly expensive, so I would say this is worth the splurge. Um, and you definitely do need to use it just once a week. Keep it, definitely keep it away from your eyes, because it's pretty strong. Now, I have another Bliss product, which is really cool, and I've showed you before. It's the Oxygen one that foams. Um, this I definitely don't think is a must. This is just one of those little extra things, like if you just want something extra and nice. Um, just a little extra luxury, I guess. Um, but that being said, it does actually work. It's not just for fun to see it foam up on your face. If you use this in the morning, I, I wouldn't use this before night because it's really just like an instant brightening thing and then you're just going to go to sleep. So I use this in the morning, like if I'm going to go somewhere special or if I've got something special planned. Or if there's just, you know, I just want to look extra bright that day or something. So I don't really think with this that there's any super, like, long-term effects. That's why I say you can kind of take it or leave it. But definitely it will make your skin look brighter and kind of more awake and energized um, during the day if you've got something special or something. So um, if I was going to use this, I would use it in the morning. I would use this instead of my two proactive last steps. I would just wash my face and use this. Um, and just keep it kind of simple. Don't layer so many things on that day. And then use, you know, use it, rinse it off, use my moisturizer and everything like that. So, um, so I do think that that is a nice little treat. Those are my products. It's a little extra peek into what I use for those of you that have been asking, especially since I posted the foundation video. And just doing what I do on YouTube anyways, that is probably the most prominent question is foundation, which I covered, and skincare. So I know that's what I'm curious about too from other people. So this, these are the products that work for me. Definitely won't work for everyone. A lot of people don't like proactive and things like that. When I first tried proactive, I remember it took me a couple months to see results. And I think what it is is a lot of people use it and they don't see results right away and they're like, this stuff is awful. 
and you know they expect a miracle or something um so over time I really think that like I'm proof at least for myself I hate to say that because everybody's different that if you're consistent with it like I am and you really use it over time it really does do good things for your skin. I will stop babbling about skincare. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I am planning that the glitter tutorial is coming up. That was actually going to be the one that I filmed today. But I did not wear many, many, much eye makeup today. My eyes were kind of itchy. And I was just like, no, don't feel like it. So I wanted to do this. I have some good tutorials coming up. And the glitter one is coming up. I'm excited. This could be the video that I film hopefully tomorrow in the next couple days. Alright, so I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.